Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the use of clever of package in LaTeX documents. This package helps in cross-linking intelligently the labels. Let us see how it is done. We use here a simple document, document class article, package used is AMS map and then we are also using hyperref package. This document contains the first section in which there is a figure and three equations. Second section also contains a figure and three more equations. It also contains a third figure and three sub equations. We cross reference the equations like this. EQ ref, EQ4, yields etc. And then let us consider the sentence EQ ref, EQ1, EQ2, EQ3, EQ4, EQ5, EQ6 and for figures we use ref again like this. And then consider the next sentence. Also consider EQ ref EQ7A 7b, 7c, like subsections. Let me compile. On compilation, the output contains first section, first figure. The figure itself is not included. I have included only the caption. Therefore, you get the caption only. Second section, second figure, three more equations, third figure, and so on. Corresponding to EQ of equation EQ four yields, we get number equation number four yields, and then for the next sentence, we get EQ of one, EQ of two, three, four, five, six, and for figures, we get this is the label for second figure, and then one figure one, this is figure three and the subsections are referred as 7a, 7b, 7c. Now, the problem is, if you give the labels for equations as eq something, and for figures, fig something, for tables, tab something, then it is no problem. But many people prefer to give a label of their choice. Here, instead of giving fig2, I am using the label Kalidas and we get this cross-reference correctly. However, suppose I put the label above the caption. If you put the label above the caption, then you will find here also you find the two, there seems to be no problem. But actually, this is wrong. This position of label is wrong. Give the label within the caption itself as demanded by some of the journals or at least after the caption. To make things clear, let me include one more section command. Now you will understand, instead of three, two, you will find on second compilation, you will find three. That means, this label now refers not to the figure but to the section, third section. Previously, when this was not used, let me show you, I compile it twice, 3 becomes 2 and this was not referring to second figure, it was re referring to second section. To make things clear, let us say we use clever rough package. When you use clever of package, we can use C ref here, C ref, and these labels can be used within the same C ref command separated by commas, like this. Here also, 
let me put C ref for figures also we put C ref and here again we put now when we compile this you will find question mark on the first instance compile it once again you will find here this word eq dot is supplied by clever ref package here also eqs plural form is supplied automatically by the clever ref package consider equations 1 to 6 and here we have c ref this is a label for figure 2 remember that and then figure 1 figure 3 but you find here the word section and not figures it is because we have put the label in the wrong position suppose i change this here after the caption command then you will find figures 1 to 3 this comes out all right and hence this package is called clever ref because it cross references intelligently similarly the last one c ref like this produces eqs 7a to 7c now there are options available with clever ref package namely if you want this also this word eq dot or fix dot etc also to be hyperlinked in color then what you can do is give the option name in link if you say name in link then you will find eq dot eqs eqs here fix fix gs all also are linked then suppose you want eq dot starting with capital e then you say capitalize then here it will be capital e here it will be f capital f however if you do not want to have this what you can do is you can say c ref name c ref name is capital e small small eq small eqs and then you can say the next variant capital c here it will be caps here also it will be caps and then here we can say c ref because this is how the sentence starts here the cross referencing occurs within the sentence now here we use capital c ref here we use small c ref and here also we use small c ref uh, for figures i have not given therefore it will it will be like this only fix only you find where you have given capital c ref you find capital e here where you are given small c you will find here small e if you change this to capital c then this will also be capital e again you can have capital c ref format also you find with the c ref format this is a type of cross referencing available here, notice that here we have two suppose you say i would like to have an n dash in the place of two that also you can have provided we use this option c ref range format equations etc then here also you find here n dash to make things clear let me say number within equation section you find here on second compilation 
2.4a n dash 2.4 c suppose we say we use this command c ref range label format sub equation here we use c ref strip prefix then you will find here the change previously it was 2.4a n dash 2.4 c now this 2.4 occurring for the second time is stripped therefore you have here 2.4 a to c i remove this for the purpose of clarity you have here equations 1 to 6 right now if for some reason you want to break this series you put an empty comma here then you will find 1 to 3 will be grouped and 4 to 6 will again be grouped suppose you have the labels occurring sequentially in your file like this when you want to cross reference them then what you can do is we can use c reference range first label of the sequence and the last label of the sequence then you find here the cross referencing done beautifully intelligently and with this we conclude our discussion on clever ref package there are few more options and i advise you to refer to the package document for those details i am avoiding them for the sake of clarity thank you very much for watching thank you again